This is a video about the Power Switch Tail 2 and how to use it. The Power Switch Tail 2 uh, version that I'm using is the normally open version. Uh, they also sell one that's normally closed. Uh, this is a power cord that switches 100 uh, 120 volt AC power directly from a microcontroller I.O. pin. And it's the easiest way to control an AC device with a Makey Makey. You can find them at powerswitchtail.com for $26. Step one, connecting jumper wires to the power switch tail. Your Makey Makey comes with jumper wires that look like this. However, for this demonstration, I'm going to be attaching two jumper wires that are from a different um, kit, uh, mostly because they're a little bit longer for the, and easier to see in this demonstration. To attach the jumper wires, I'm going to use a screw driver that is normally used on eyeglasses, and I bought this at the drugstore. And the reason being is that this uh, screwdriver is able to fit down in these holes here. And now there are three holes at the bottom of the hole here. And you'll, uh, by the way, you'll see them numbered one, two, and three. It's hard to see on this video, but here on the sticker right here, uh, hole one, hole two, and hole three, we're going to be ignoring hole three in this demonstration. And by the way, here is uh, what we're working with. We're going to ignore hole three and work with hole one and hole number two. So back to attaching the wire. I'm going to use my screwdriver and turn. It takes a moment to find the screw and then you're going to turn counterclockwise to raise the little hole right here. If you look carefully when you're unscrewing this, so counterclockwise on both and then you're able to stick a jumper wire in here. And so with one hand, you can hold the jumper wire and then turn clockwise until you got a nice snug fit. So this is what it looks like once the first jumper wire is in. Again, we're only using the center hole and the left hole, which is holes one and two. I'm going to repeat that process. Now I have two jumper wires snugly connected. I can't pull them out easily. And again, I'm going to show you this so it's clear. We're using hole number one and hole number two, ignoring hole number three. Step number two, connecting jumper wires to the Makey Makey. So uh, we're going to connect this number one jumper wire here in the number one hole here to the key out on the back of the Makey Makey. The number two wire, uh, identified as in, uh, negative N, uh, is going to be uh, attached to the ground of the GND on the back of the Makey Makey. So here we have the Makey Makey plugged in to the computer as normal. And we're now going to connect the uh, jumper wires to the back of the Makey Makey. Now it's hard to see in this video, but there is a key out right here in this first pin and the GND ground is right here. So we're going to connect these jumper wires to these areas here. So I'm going to start with the first one, the key out, which is the number one key, um, jumper wire, and just push this into here. And I'm going to take this uh, jumper wire from the second or the middle hole here, number two um, connection point, 
and we're going to connect that to the ground G labeled GND. So this is what it looks like. And I'm not running any specific program over on my Chromebook that I have this connected to right now. It's uh, just being powered right now by the USB on the Makey Make or on the uh, computer. No program is needed for this uh, application right here. Step number three: final connections. So here we have our power switch tail connected to our Makey Makey. However, I haven't connected it to the power here. Before I do that, I'm going to uh, take this lamp. This is just a lamp from my home. And normally it just plugs into the wall. So I need to first make sure that the lamp is on. So I'm going to plug this in and you can see the lamp did not turn on when I plugged this in. However, there's a switch in the back here. So I'm going to turn this on. You can see this little switch here on the back just turns this particular lamp on and off. So I'm going to leave it on for now. And now I'm going to unplug it. So the next stage is to plug in the power tail, power switch tail into my power. And I'm going to take the other end of the light and plug it in to this end of the power switch tail. You'll notice the lamp did not turn on and that's because we're going to control this lamp with the Makey Makey. So I'm going to connect uh, this green alligator clip to the ground, the earth on my Makey Makey. And I'm going to connect this red alligator clip. It, I can connect it to the space or the click or an arrow. I'm just going to, for this, I'm just going to connect it to the left arrow. Now, uh, I'm just going to take some Play-Doh. This is just off-the-shelf Play-Doh. And I'm going to connect, or just push this, the green into here. Could choose any color Play-Doh. And then push this. I move this over here so you can see it and have my next play-doh right here. Now what should happen when I touch this um, play-doh and this one, the light should come on. So I'm going to reorient myself and let's see if this works. So I'm going to touch this play-doh and this one. So what I'm doing now is just controlling this, the flow of electricity through the power switch tail using the Makey Makey. Uh, and uh, again, I'm completing the circuit like I normally would uh, using the Makey Makey. And I can connect this, these two together here. I could actually just do this. Or I can stick them into something conductive like this Play-Doh. This is just off-the-shelf Play-Doh again. Here's another example of how I can control the light using the power switch tail 2 and my Makey Makey. I've connected this to a drawing of a robot that I created. And I have my alligator clips attached uh, to the Makey Makey as I did before. And instead of touching Play-Doh, I can touch the leg of the 
robot here and touch his hand. Oops, let's see if I can get that in the video. And I'm completing the circuit here. See if you can see the light come on. 